Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And our question tonight comes to us from Fano Zaza, who asks about the origin of the elemental attributions of the four quarters as we use them in modern Wicca. That is to say, why do we think of air as being in the east, fire in the south, water in the west, earth in the north? Uh, the idea of the quarters, that is the four directions as the demarcations of existence, and the idea that these are connected to all things, is very widespread and very ancient. You find the quarters already in ancient Egypt, where they're commonly associated with the four sons of Horus, uh, and often in the ancient world they were thought of as uh, holding up the sky, for want of a better way to put it. Uh, and they were thought of as basically the first, furthest extensions of physical existence. Uh, over the centuries, they have acquired the idea of being connected to all manner of different symbolic uh, correspondences, including the elements. Uh, but you find this in many different cultures, and in those different cultures, what elements are associated with which quarter changes radically from one to another. And why is this? Well, I was always told that, that the elemental associations of the quarters were basically taken from the geographical uh, features of the area you happen to be in, and therefore different cultures, because they have radically different environments, would assign them differently. Uh, if you were in an area where the hottest uh, geographical location was south of you, of course you would think of fire as being in the south. Uh, if the ocean was to your, your west, you would think of water as being to the west, but if it was to the east, you might have thought of it that way. And you do find all sorts of different attributions around the world where you encounter the quarters. Uh, in modern Wicca, we tend to have a set system, uh, but even then you'll find that many Wiccans will vary it according to their area, uh, while many others do not. And in my mind, uh, this has everything to do with what is useful to the practitioner. My personal opinion is that uh, it's good to have a certain amount of uniformity. It's also good uh, to take into account your local geography and to honor the spirit of place. In Chicago, for many years, we had ritual on the, the shores of Lake Michigan, mostly at Foster Avenue Beach. And one of the venerable high priestesses of Chicago in those days, the Lady Victoria Carlson, the high priestess of the Temple of Sancta Sophia, and very prominent in the Circle of 42, always insisted that the element of water was wherever Lake Michigan happened to be relevant to the ritual. Uh, so that uh, rather than calling water in the west, uh, she favored calling it in whatever direction the lake was, which was very commonly either east or north rather than west. And uh, this to me makes a certain amount of sense. Uh, I, fav I favor really either, uh, either custom, either using the standard uh, directions or varying them to your geography according to what works well for you, uh, and also for whoever you happen to be working with. However, when we're working with other people, it is good to all agree on which element is which. So I hope that answers your question, and I hope you find that interesting, and until next time, may you blessed be.